This video will cover the topic, graphing an exponential function and its asymptote, f of x equals a times e raised to the x minus b plus c. To graph these functions, we will need to plot at least two points in any asymptotes of the graph. How do we know which points to plot? Let's look at this in the context of an example problem. Let's graph the function g of x equals 2 thirds times e raised to the x plus 1 plus 4. We'll need to plot two points, x comma g of x. We note that if the exponent of e is 0, this will give us a convenient expression to calculate g of x. To make the exponent 0, we can set x equal to negative 1. So we'll first evaluate g of x for x equals negative 1. After simplifying, we see that when x equals negative 1, g of x equals 14 thirds. This tells us that the point negative 1 comma 14 thirds is a point on the graph. To find a second point, we can evaluate g of x for the next integer after negative 1. So now we'll find g of x when x equals 0. After simplifying, we see that when x equals 0, g of x equals 2 thirds e plus 4. This tells us that the point 0 comma 2 thirds e plus 4 is another point on the graph. If we enter this expression into our calculator, 2 thirds e plus 4 is approximately 5.81, so our point is at approximately 0 comma 5.81. So now that we know our two points, how do we find our asymptotes? We know that the standard exponential function f of x equals e raised to the x has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 because the function approaches 0 as x decreases without bound. Since the plus 4 in our function corresponds to a vertical translation 4 units upward, we will see that our function approaches 4 as x decreases without bound. This means that the graph has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 4. Okay, I think that makes sense. So now we can graph our function, right? That's right. Now that we've found two points in the asymptote, we can complete the graph of g of x equals 2 thirds times e raised to the x plus 1 plus 4. Okay, so to graph an exponential function and its asymptote, we need to first find two points that lie on the graph. To do this, we can first find g of x for an x value that makes the exponent 0, and we can find g of x for an additional x value. We can find the asymptote by determining what horizontal line the graph approaches as its x values decrease without bound. When we know these pieces, we can complete the graph of our function. That's exactly right. Great work! 